welcome back to Gavino Games. So today we will have a Guardian 3 top tier world guild battle. And we are battling YGG Drasil from EU. And we are looking for the highest health towers right here. We got one from Nox. And yes, today we are going to bring as much as cleave teams that we can. Anything that ignores defense and that can work. All right, we are ready. And for the first round, we're going to bring our Fran with the Lauren and the Liu Mei. We've been trying to make this offense work. Let's see if it can. Okay, and then for the second team, we have the Gemini, Reisfeld, and that's the Light Chun Li. Plus the Poseidon Comp. We got a Gani Rika and of course the Mirene Lucian. Let's go, G G G G G G Unit. G Unit. G Unit. G Unit. Here comes the Fran, Lauren, and Lumei combo. We're going to start working on this Berad first. Let's go for the strip and the attack bar reduction. Okay, nice too. Stun. Oh, not enough damage though. Okay, now the Berad should do. Oh no. He didn't go for the freeze. Light dragon attack. Oh, that's a good stun. We're not gonna heal just yet. But we'll try to slow down this Molly because she's definitely healing a lot. Oh no, the violent proc. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I don't know, we have no immunity now. And they're just procking crazy. Lauren in trouble. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's not a good start. That's why you should cleave, because at the end of the day, when the violent procs start cucking in, it's just... GG'd. Okay, here comes the Gemini with the Rice Velg and the Light Toon Lee. No defense break on the Nora. Can we kill with Spinning Bird Kick? Three versus one. This is a bit dangerous, especially if the Nora is able to stack all those totems and she sees us with the provokes. Okay, here we go. For Poseidon time, they call it the dog comp because every time it misses. Oh, well, it's fine. Reduction of attack bars. I mean, when it works, it's really good. You know, uh, but if it, when it doesn't, this practically no way to come back from it right um, but generally very fast okay now we are facing this defense and the only strip is coming from the skill 2 of the savannah we're going to reserve the reset for the pernal later on okay now we go for fire guardian angel for the dots I don't know let's put the nana to sleep how about that Oh, right, nice too. Now we reset this burner for, you know, so that she doesn't have any extra lives. Not going for the stuns just yet because we do have that Nana on sleep mode anyway. Okay, keep working on this. Oh no, stun. Shields up. Okay, just in time for that defense break. The burn is kind of going crazy, but technically we still have... Okay, nice too. Yeah, I was gonna say like maybe... Four turns before she's able to revive since we did reset her, so... Okay, nice sleeps coming from the Wusa. Sleeping like a Hathor Wusa. <laughs> I mean... Oh no, okay. Can we get a stun? One stun. Yeah, but again, no strips on their side, especially now that the savannah has already been dismounted from the beast. And it's pretty safe. Yeah, I don't know. How would you cleave this defense? Well, you can technically bring in a Galleon, Tiana, and Zyros, right? You can reset the Perna. Or at the same time, I don't know, in terms of cleave, you can't really cleave it because there's a Nana. And a Perna, right? If you brought in, like, say, a Lucian, and then there's a Perna there, there's no way that's gonna work. 
if you brought in say a Julie that's not gonna work either now for example for this one we can pretty much go for the Mirene speed up with the Lucian and amputation magic that does 20k per card yet yeah, fast when it's cleaving all right very good let's see what we got next Okay, highest health power we got here, Nick. Oh yeah, by the way, we have transferred guilds. We're currently at H and H here at the Asia server. So again, thank you to H and H for the warm welcome. And at the same time, thank you to Frenzy. It's been a good year with you guys. And looking forward to H and H in the upcoming Siege Battle season. And yeah. Yes, unfortunately, we had to leave Frenzy, mainly because of that very bad performance from the Siege Battle Tournament. Back to our cleave teams here. We're bringing Lucian, this time with the Jamire. We're testing out, again, the Chun Li, because we want a fast battle right here. And then the Poseidon, playing around with the Sian and the Skogul. And then, of course, we got Pisama with, of course, the Bastet and the Kashmir, also known as the Wind Ryu. Let's test it out. First turn would be the Jamire, right? This time around, we do have a faster Lucian than the original one that we used in the previous round, because this one has to be all tuned together with the Jamire. Okay, and then at the same time, of course, the Light Homunculus. Now, attack power buff, second round of Amputation Magic is able to kill that Dark Dice Magician and the Molly with 10k per card, more or less. Okay, this is a bit dangerous because they have Will Runes. We are able to strip, but no defense break. Yeah. Okay, Spinning Bird Kick. Oh no, there goes the Karma. Oh wow, so much damage coming from this Thessarian though. Okay, can we kill? No kill just yet. Oh man, I feel like we should have killed the Thessarian there. Because now we are Oblivion. Yeah, we should have gone for the Thessarian. <laughs> Oblivion again, well it doesn't matter on the Gemini. But, that's the thing with Cleave, you win some, you lose some. Oh, so that's why this guy is winning. Yeah, good thing we brought in the Tiana, because the Chandra moves first. And which is kind of good, right, because he escorts that. And then increases attack bars. Nora kind of derped though. But, yeah, a really fast Chandra right there. Okay, now this one's like a really fun combo with bombs. Everybody's got a... Okay, nice suit. And then they had lost stone. Yeah, it's really good because even if they get all of those attack bars right, we have the Atlas Stone incoming. And at the same time, we also have heal blocks. Just in case. Yeah, he survives, but he doesn't. Now, here's the very dangerous part. Hmm, we'll need to kill this Nikki. So Hellfire, we need to technically strip and apply defense break. Oh, we aren't able to apply the defense break though. Ah, uh, we'll need to kill her first. There goes the Reckless Assault. Oh, stuns the Kashmir. Okay, we gotta reset. Okay. Okay, nice violent rock from our Bastet right there. Let's take the first life of the Perna. Because now we're going to go triple crush. Wow, more or less that's 60k. Okay, and then Hellfire onto the Perna. Man. It's pretty fast for a World Guild battle, I must say. Uh, especially if we're, you know, if you're cleaving, it really moves really, really fast. Okay, now... 
and here's the defense that we attacked that Chandra with the uh, Nora and the Ongyuki right it's very tricky such that in this defense you'll expect the Nora to go first right but this time the Chandra goes first increases the attack bars of everyone that allows the Nora to actually either go for the totem friends that removes beneficial effects and provokes the enemies and then of course the Ongyuki that's going to do a lot of damage with Ghost Wild Dance. That's one OP defense coming from Nick of YGG Brazil. Now, just to show you the stats or the builds of the offense monsters that we use today, we have here the Sian on a triple attack on 246. That's Fatal Will. Okay, a lot of increased attack and bomb damage. This left rune, uh, we've been trying to put in attack increase effect on it. Uh, wait, what do we have here? Eh, uh, well, I was going for damage minus wind there, so I'm gonna we're gonna sell that. Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. So we've been trying to grind this for like increased attack effect, but right now it's already at a hundred, and we don't have any more special conversion with the increased attack power buff. So hopefully we'll put. We'll pull that one and we'll put that into that slot. Okay. And then we have the Poseidon. Where is the Poseidon? Okay. Swift focus for additional accuracy, 61%. Uh, preferably you have him above 80, but that's swift focus with 100% crit rate. Additional accuracy on his right artifact for the Maelstrom. Okay, and then we did bring in the slow lotion here. The slow lotion is currently, again, still 100%, but you don't really need to put speed on him because we're pairing him up with the Dova. There's still a little bit of room to grind here. Um, it's not exactly the best runes just yet, you know, especially like, for example, that defense. We didn't really need a roll into the defense. You know. I, could have gone to say more crit damage or crit rate or just the same here um, yeah well the HP was is okay I must say that rune is good um, in terms of the attack artifact more crit damage preferably on his skill 3 next up on the monster box we have the Reisberg tuned to the Gemini and the Chun-Li that's plus 183 speed um, not much damage really coming from the rice belt because the Chun Li is going to be the main damage dealer. But of course, it would be better if we have him on damage build as well. Um, yeah, it's a mix of runes. But the main killer is, of course, the Gemini. We have here Kashmir with the speed, crit damage, attack build to move all with the Bastet, right? And then. Of course, the Gemini, just more speed tuning for the, um, what do you call this, for the Chun-Li. Um, we have the Dova. No, he doesn't need the crit damage, but it's more of just additional speed in tune with the Mirine. Um, additional damage just in case for his her speed, right? And of course, we have the light Chun-Li. Okay, again, go for 100% crit rate, just so you know you make sure that you don't miss any of those crucial crits when you attack in your offense. Yeah, it's very vital to be 100% crit rate. Um, here we were mainly going for um, that speed up effect, because looking here we can technically go for like a more additional crit damage on skill 2 on the right artifact let's see what we got here yeah crit damage and accuracy for skill 2 that would be good i must say that can also work um this one is also good on susano though um but again speed up effect on the left side is for me in my opinion is better on the chun li but yeah if if we're wrong, please do leave a comment and we can talk about it. Watch out for the upcoming video on bombers.
we have built our Dover on Fatal Blade, or uh, Fatal Will, sorry. And we're missing someone. Yeah, of course, uh, we did show the Kashmir already, but we haven't shown you his Daphnis. Yeah, the fire uh, fairy king, right? Um, preferably 100% crit rate, but speed crit damage attack on, again, Swift Blade. And as promised, here are the best defenses from the Siege Battle Tournament Finals. Here are the defenses coming from Goat and Candy House. We have here that Carcano, Molly, and Dominic from NL that's winning. Um, of course, again, just a background on these defenses. They did reset before the start of the battle, right? You got that Momo with the Molly, and that was a Rahul with the two wins in one battle, which is pretty good, I must say. And then, of course, a mix of LD defenses with Carcano and more of that Tien Lang. Alright, checking out the other defenses they got here. Again, of course, these are the best of the best teams in the Asia server. So, when they lose, the defense must be very good, right? And of course, they did bring in, I believe, two towers of the Martina, Sharina, and Triana. And of course, this NB4 defense, the Ishir with the Monte and Vigor. Yeah, for sure, a lot of minus wind artifacts on these guys, like maybe minus 20 plus. That, you know, you can't loosen it with all that sustain and the defense breaks. And of course, the RNG coming from Destiny Dice of the Monte. Yeah, it was definitely OP. And just a mix of these LD towers you got here. Oh man, and of course, congratulations once again to GOAT for winning the Siege Battle Tournament. And no Siege Battle this week, so please do stand by next week when we have them up and ready. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. May the Force be with you. Have a great week ahead. May the Force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.